Hello, beautiful, beloved brethren. So I'm going to read to you Genesis 15, 14, or first 13 to and 14. And he said unto Abram, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. And also that nation whom they shall serve will I judge and afterward shall they come out with great substance. <clears throat> this is similar to Egypt. The Hebrews were serving the Egyptians for a while, and then Moses came with the angel of the Lord's presence, and the Egyptians had to let them go free. Now, they didn't do it lightly. It was not They were not going to let them go. Jesus, um, the Spirit of God, said, Let my people go. And they still wouldn't, Pharaoh still wouldn't let God's people go. And we're in the same time right now of when Pharaoh does not want to let God's people go. Okay. It's the same exact thing. Um, but because they will not let God's people go and they compass God's people about the beloved city, we have them coming from every nation, tribe, and tongue. Uh, to afflict us from Ukraine, from Islamic countries, from every every nation, tribe, and tongue has come over here, uh, from Asia, from every nation, to afflict Israel. I put in the community page a video about how in 2nd Ezra, uh, Ezra's E-D, I think, S-R-A-S, I think is how you spell it, hold on, um, how the native Indians, the indigenous tribes are the lost tribes, the 10 lost tribes of Israel. So they are Israel. And the Bible says anyone who curses Israel is cursed. Similar to in Genesis 3, uh, the serpent uh, became a curse for deceiving Eve. In the same way, um, they came and killed, sold the land and destroyed and deceived God's people. Maybe they weren't deceived because um, there is a writing from a conversation between a Jesuit priest and a native Indian and the Na Jesuit priest was telling them about the Bible and the na about the spirit and the native Indian said you know this God of this Bible we know but you don't know him they knew that because the Jesuits were living by the flesh and not by the spirit they knew that they didn't know him now, not all the colonizers who came over were not born of the Spirit, but clearly the Jesuits who built the colleges also, the Roman Catholic Church is where the Jesuits come from, and the Jesuit oath is is abominable. It, they say that they want to dash the children on stones and stuff like that, and that's through abortion is they make the laws okay but then they claim to be against abortion but they never remove that okay they did it to destroy the firstborn of israel okay because the firstborn belongs to god and they've come in and they've corrupted they seek to corrupt god's people and that's where the greek roman greek um, fraternities which is also egypt because they do the egyptian mudras with their hands they make the egyptian hand signs which is also the Kundalini and Hindu and Buddhist. So you've got Mystery Babylon all in one. It's many uh, religions and their Islam, their I self law and master. They make themselves their own master. They listen to the lightning bolt, their own ideas, and they follow their own hearts. They don't follow the spirit and what is right. Okay. Uh, they are unjust judges, as the word of God says, and they have a Thor hammer. That Thor hammer is the prince of the power of the air. That's why they were black. Um, and uh, they have the black and white chessboard, you know, Freemason does. And when Freemasons take their light, they are getting a serpent in their body, okay, because they're worshiping the goat god, okay. Um, I think they call him Baphomet in the in the Freemason and in Job's daughters are are part of Freemason and Eastern Star women. Okay, it's not the Eastern Star of God. It's not Christ. They are worshiping another God. Okay, they may say they're worshiping God, but their their covetous practices and idolatry prove that they're uh, the lovers of money, the root of all evil. They wanted the resources and they wanted to enslave God's people. 
build the roads, which Isaiah 14 proves that the roads, the traffic, everybody's in traffic in their cars with wheels, that those are of Satan from forbidden knowledge that Satan and his evil angels had given them in order to conquer God's people, okay? Because they hate God's people, okay? So they gave them forbidden knowledge, knowledge like the technology and everything. This is all forbidden knowledge. The war machines, the army, um, armed forces, um, all of their weapons in every nation, tribe, and tongue. The Saudis have the same stars on their uniforms as the North Korean um, army, as the American army, and all the armies, German, Russia, all of them, Israel, every, every armed forces and all their machines to kill, which is against God's law, it all, they, they all wear stars, okay? And NASA, which is where they get their, they educate people with that kind of science, means deceit in Hebrew. NASA is deceit, and they use a serpent tongue for their symbol, telling you that they are deceivers. Like the guile, the beguiler in Genesis 3, serpent was a beguiler. So in Revelation, because they deceived all the nations, okay, Satan deceived all the nations, the kings of the earth, the mighty men, Revelation chapter 17, verse 23. Today is the 23rd. We're going to go over some 23s here. <laughs> they have an evil eye, okay, the lovers of money seeking to be rich off of the oppression of the poor and people who are free in the land they enslaved. They make laws and policies, the scriptures say, to destroy God's people. Now, according to the scriptures, Joseph was sold by his own family members to Egypt. In the same way, there are those that are, not all are Israel of Israel, the scriptures say. Not all who say they're of Israel are of Israel. Or they even may be the bloodline of Israel, but they're not of Israel, of God. Because they sold God's people to Rome, the Roman Empire, the Roman Chaldeans of Babylon. The, the Roman Catholic. And that's why they killed people, the saints in the Colosseum in Rome, in the Vatican and in, in the Colosseum. You know, this is, this is, their religion is not of the scriptures. Even though God uses those armies to chastise his people, yes, God does. But they have an evil eye, which means their body is full of darkness. Jesus said, if your eye be single, it's full of light. But if your eye be evil, an evil eye is someone that seeks to be rich, the scriptures say in the Proverbs of God. So you can see the bear also of Proverbs 28, 29 and 30. And then um, Matthew 6, 23, that talks about the evil eye, verse 23. You have Mark 7, 20, 21 through 23. You have Revelation chapter 17 or 18, verse 23. The kings of the earth, the mighty men, the merchant men, and their merchant ships came over and did and who told them where to go? The book of Second Ezra talks about the lost tribes of Israel. They're in the Americas. And even Christopher Columbus asked to come to the place of, I forget the name of it. But it basically means of the lost tribes of Israel. So, beloved, we're going to continue this. It's, it's, um, he asked to go to the place of Arzareth, which is America, where our natives are.